there's a second type of array that's called polar array. This function will array objects based on polar coordinates. That means you can copy objects along a defined radius and at specific angles. So let's open up the array example file. In this exercise, we want to arrange these chairs in a circle around this table. Now we'll be able to put in four, five, or six chairs, and we also want them to rotate accordingly so that the chair is actually facing the table. If we use the rectangular array, they would all be facing the same way, and we'd have a whole bunch of them, and they wouldn't be radial, meaning that they wouldn't be centered about the center of this circle. So the array polar command does a lot of different things for us. Now if you type in array or AR for the array command, you start off by selecting your object. And then it asks you if you want to perform a rectangular path or polar. I'm going to select polar. On the other hand, if you go up to the ribbon, go to the home tab, then go to the array command here on the modify panel, click the fly out, you can go directly to a polar array command by selecting that option. So let's pick the chair, press return. And now we have to specify the center point of the array. That's going to be the center of this circle right here. And you can see, boom, it just pops them right in there for us. Now, the polar array works almost identically to the rectangular array. You get a contextual array ribbon called the array creation, and you have all these other options available to you. You also have grip edits that you can change the angle with. You can also change that length right here. Once you do that, you can change the number of chairs or objects that will be arrayed in that area. So if I pick this here and I stretch it enough, it'll go and keep everything really close, really tight, or 360 degrees. Of course, all of these controls are up here and available to you. So I can control the number of items. Let's say it's five. I can control either the angle between them or the fill angle total, whichever one I would like. So if I say this needs to be 180 degrees, and there are five of them, and they're going to be 45 degrees apart. Or I can go to 360 degrees, back the way I had it. And I can change this number here. Say I just pick randomly 56. It'll change the fill number for you automatically. So it just depends on what you want to do. Now you can change the number of rows. So let's say I need two sets of chairs. If I type in two, it will give me two chairs. And all of the items are going to come out radially. Now levels is for a three-dimensional polar array. So this will stack chairs on top of chairs. In this case, I only want the one row though. Now I do have a few options here. I can change the direction. I can rotate the items or not. This way the chairs, as you can see, are all facing the exact same direction. Well, I want them to all face the chair, so I'm going to leave that on. I can change my base point this way, if I'd like. And this makes it associative. If I turn that off, then I won't be able to edit the chairs as a group later on. Once I change this, it shows how far away my chairs are from the center of my base point option. I'm going to undo all that and start all over. If I go to my polar array again, select my chair, press enter, select the center of my table, and I get this all right here. So it's actually very simple to do and very quick as you can see. Now if you change your base point, that's going to redefine where the location of the grips are going to go to and go at. Now when I'm done, I click close or press the enter key, and I have an associative array again. Once I select it, I get my contextual ribbon back, and I can make all the changes that I want to here as I'd like. If I do that there, I can also change some of these options here with my grip edit, just as I did before. I can stretch these out, make them a little closer, a little farther away, and here this grip will let me move them as a group. If I hold my mouse over my grip edit, I have a couple of different options. I can change my row count and get a lot more chairs. I can change that radius. And then once I have multiple rows, of course, I can change those grips this way as well. So that's the polar array. It allows you to make polar radial objects very quickly.